Hello my friends and welcome back to the Battletech Revised pre-release campaign. Although who knows how much of this campaign I will actually pre-record before the game comes out. Since we uh, we're working hard every day. Let's defend some base. Defend base is a mission usually avoided. But today we're going to dive in deep and defend the base. Okay. Let's hope that the opposition is not too too dangerous. Oh, some turrets would be nice. Excellent opportunity to take payment in mech parts and salvage rights. So he says. But that cash is not bad either. Begin. Command interface initiated. E. We do indeed have some turrets to assist us. Light LRM. And whatever the other items are. Light laser in a silly place. We actually have a full squad of uh, units here. Oh, a swift wind cargo. That's, uh. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it can draw fire. This is a very, very light detachment of units. Exiting combat. Well, that benefited me because it actually wasted turns for them. Now they've only got eight turns. Affirmative. Light laser turret in a good place. And a light sniper turret, not. Mm, it might have targets there. You gotta admire the stones on the guy in the cargo. <laughs> in the cargo car. Do you really wanna be speeding around the battle in a chariot with no weapons? Very, very, very thin armor. Yeah. 
That's good to go. What can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? Waiting on you, Commander. Should have brought some sensor lock for this. Copy that. Okay, it's a locust. I hear ya. It's a locust. I leap. I soar. So you can bomb it. Bomb it with missiles. Waiting for orders. Taking the high road. All right, there's a lot going on in this defense mission. Picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Okay. What's his support? Oh, a fire bee. Using standard SRM ammo at the moment. But that won't necessarily stop it from using its uh, infernos. Holding action, Commander. Oh, you've got sensor lock. We should have done that earlier. Nice shot. Ah, it's my fault for zooming in. Where's he going? He's going after the cargo truck. Good to go. What can I do for you? Well, I guess that would panic anybody in a totally defenseless. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Uh, mech. <laughs> uh, vehicle, I should say. All weapons are go. I wonder if the sniper turret will get a shot here. Got a mongoose and some other unknown mech closing in. Waiting for orders. Move into position. Get him! Roger. All right, not bad. A wasp. Just a standard wasp and a standard mongoose. I hear ya. Uh huh. Let's get his attention. That was a nice hit. Guess that's the only shot I've got. It's not a great shot. But it'll have to do. It was very unlikely that I get anything special done there. Nice hit from the turret though. Now oh, both turrets getting some hits. I believe we're still running logging on uh, on the panic system at the moment as well, so uh, with this much action there is a little bit of lagginess. Hopefully we can eliminate that before we go live. Alright, let's 
uh, zoom in a little bit here. Good to go. Okay, fire B. Moving out. You will not escape the mongoose. Letter in. Oh, nice. Reporting critical hit. It's not a bad hit. Waiting on you, Commander. I would be too close there. Let's see if we can put an end to this locust. Ah, some good hits, but nothing fatal. Mongoose closing in. Well, if he's got a shot on the sniper turret, that means the sniper turret's got a shot on him. Hopefully, we can punish that. Waiting for orders. You betcha. Let's go for this wasp. while he's down there on the low ground. Oh, nice. Sensor lock by the Swift Wind cargo. Just going to show that it can still get something done. I can't believe he's been attacked twice and he's still alive. kind of funny really I was thinking about punching him in the face but I think I can get an actual better shot here nice Okay, solid hit there, considering the armament that it's got. That was also another good hit. Oh, the AC2 turret ripped into the mongoose there. Take a headshot there? No. Actually, did I? No. Yeah. No shooting, just running. Got it. We'll just lure that mech in closer.
I'm not even sure these boys actually brought enough firepower to destroy these buildings in the time that they have. Okay, he missed with the large laser. That's good. No, my swift wind cargo. Good to go. He never stood a chance. Come on, get him. Okay, he got slightly machine gunned for his troubles. Nice shot. There goes his SRM ammo. Oh, he's gone. That was to be expected. His core had like very little health. Got him. Got it. Ooh. Nice. And there's more where that came from. He's just being knocked down is like the worst thing that can possibly happen to you. He's going to get ravaged now. Ouch. They said it would be a cakewalk. Yes, Commander. Oof. Nasty. Target eliminated. All right, nice. Mission successful. It's a nice, easy, uh, a nice, easy way to get started. They really did give us quite a lot of support on that base defense mission, to be fair. So I haven't, we haven't fixed that display bug. Well, I haven't fixed that display bug yet on my client. Because I'm a fool. Oh, very close to finishing a fire bee, though. Yes, I finished one. Sweet. Nice.
Okay. Let's see if we can make some money now. <clears throat> Sell some things. Jobs done. That work order you submitted, I wrapped up that job. Jobs done. That work order you submitted uh -oh. is complete. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's a funny, it's a funny little bug. Not a big deal. When you take very, very little armor damage, you still have to repair the individual little bits of armor. But it takes less than a day, so you, uh, you end up finishing four different jobs on the same day. Okay. Let's stand down the locust. So I can build my fire bee. That mech you wanted is back online. All right, let's have a little talk about the fire bee. Obviously needs a little bit of work. Okay, this one's a wreck. Needs a 175 core. Which I'm not sure I've got any cores at the moment. Oh no, I do have a 175 core lying around. Sweet. So, the Fire Bee is in the lore. It's meant to be a uh, an Inferno SRM specialist. Now, we just kind of figured that people would, uh, would very strongly min-max it. That is to say that they probably wouldn't ever put Inferno SRMs on it. Um, and if we put Inferno SRMs on it, you know, just straight up, then we figured that, um, or I figured, that, uh, the AI version of it would not be that great. So what we have is um, this mech has actually got integrated uh, SRM ammo, 30 rounds, 0.25 tons. So just a tiny amount of ammo. But those, those Inferno missiles are there for you to use as you see fit during combat. And it also encourages you to actually keep this mech as an SRM specialist instead of... Uh, ripping out all the uh, all the SRM launchers and replacing them with LRMs or, or uh... yeah I think that's probably all you would really want to do so a typical build for this would be four Four SRM twos, plus some SRM ammo, and of course it's got its integrated infernos as well for you to use and utilize and enjoy. I guess it lost a heatsink as well, yeah. Now the funny part here is this integrated ammo, although it does appear on the uh, on the design, it is actually truly integrated, so if you actually fit a heatsink here, you'll see it disappears. But you'll still get the ammo. So it is part of the integration. Um, we put it in the leg because uh, we wanted it in the CT. Because that would make more sense from a lore perspective. But um, the CT is a very busy place, so 
it was moved to the leg. Let's go full armor on this. And do I really want to go like ultra full armor? Maybe I can chip a little bit. There we go. This would be a great little SRM boat for me. Unfortunately, I don't have any streak SRM ammo. So. That's just not going to work out. Let's uh, get our... Let's go into the store and see if we can find ourselves some SRM4s. Which we will because the stores are overpopulated at the moment. It's not been sorted yet. I want a pair. Yeah. Let's get this boy running. Let's pull the jump jets. Okay. we do with our last little bit of tonnage? Four, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve vessel, twelve vessels, twelve vessels. Twelve missiles of volley. Probably would be wise to carry more ammo. I guess there's no reason why we can't extend ourselves to a medium laser here. You could totally get away with fitting more uh, more SRM4s into this mech. At least one more. Maybe a half ton of uh, half ton of ammo as well. Let's do it. Okay, let's pull that out. I can get another half ton of ammo in here. Okay. Oh, it's missing a heatsink. I didn't notice that. All right. So many components to repair, but we'll uh, we'll be good to go in eleven days. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Probably the first mech I've got that actually would be uh, pretty solid for a uh, for a one skull. I'm 
sort of slowly running out of contracts to do on this planet. Oh, there's a jewel. Two mechs go in, one mech comes out. We can do that. It's a good opportunity to just make some money quickly. Commander. Oh god. Training confirmed, Commander. The one character I have available to do this with is the one with the most annoying voice in the universe. Yes, any other voice. Waiting for orders. Oh, another glitch. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't change it to, to the glitch voice since I already have two other pilots that have the glitch voice. What no? Oh, the mad Russian. Commander. 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 I'm here. Stand in by. Good to go. Orders. I'll do. We'll have the really generic one. Let's get this contract in. I'll just go full money on this one, actually. Makes sense for me to go uh, full money on this one because the salvage is terrible. This could be a problematic mission depending on what he's got. Well, hopefully, it's nothing too serious, but if I end up facing off against a hunchback or something, I'm going to be in big trouble. I guess it also depends on whether he goes first or I go first. Command interface initiated. Ready for action, Commander. Ready for action. Oh my god, he's got a hunchback. <laughs> oh, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> oh my god, it's a hunchback 4G. Oh, it's the new enhanced hunchback 4G. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> I gotta lure him close and then shoot him in the back. Good to go. I wish I'd chosen a faster mech for this fight. Got it. 
Nice hit. Totally useless location, but nice hit. So, the Hunchback uh, has been changed. It now has a special quirk that it has a reinforced um, weapon mounting. That big box, basically, where all the weapons sit, is uh, that is its quirk, that it has that box. And that box is uh, structurally reinforced to protect the weapons that it contains. So you'll notice that the Hunchback has got 60 structure on one side and 100 on the other. So yeah, it maintains its classic uh, lack of rear armor. Receiving you. That does not mean that it is not going to be very difficult to destroy. On it. <laughs> Did I bring enough ammo for this? <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. Okay. Twenty shots. It'll be fine. Twenty shots will be okay. Copy that. I need to get behind him. Engaging target. That's realistically the only way I'm going to win this. Next warriors, show them what you've got. Don't hit. Oh, he hit! <laughs> oh, don't tell me he just took out my primary weapon. No. This isn't looking too good. Okay, he took out a shield arm. Receiving you. Jumping. Target confirmed. Oh, this is gonna be trouble. Oh, did he miss? I think he missed. There's nothing there but a laser. And of course we enhance the amount of AC-20 ammo you get to six rounds, so... Uh, I will not be draining this boy dry easily. Oh, he's moved in such a way I can't actually get behind him. Affirmative. Okay. I'm vigilancing and it doesn't matter. Oh. Orders. He didn't know where to maneuver. That's good. Heading out. Affirmative. All oh, right, nice hits. <laughs> I'm playing with fire right now. <laughs> Ooh. Internal structure damage. Oh, that may be the shield side of my mech, but I still can't afford yeah. to lose those medium lasers. I really want to expose my left arm though. Losing the AC-10 would be even worse. 
acknowledged. Overheat damage. So, if it wasn't for our uh, enhanced torso weapon box, this I would probably have disabled this mech by now. Locked on rear armor. Oh, I missed. I missed such an important shot. I may pay the ultimate price for it now. Ow! Sorry, Commander. I'm hit. Standing by. <sighs> Left arm. That's the right. Oh, this is bad. This is very, Copy that. very bad. Nice. Reporting critical hit. All right, his main weapons offline. Oh, I knew this was coming. All right, you hit the leg. Internal structure damage. Good to go. Get out of there. Don't eject. You've got this one. Ready for orders. Now's the time for a nice vacation. Commander. Off. Should have brought some jump jets. Let me show you how war is fought in the inner sphere. <laughs> Ready for orders. health, damn. One laser shot in the right place and I'm gonna fall on my ass. Roger that. I can't afford to be anywhere near him because he will melee me. Light damage, Commander. Good to go. Got ten shots left as well. It's not. It's not an infinite amount of shots. Locking on. Oh, and I missed Negative one. Damage. <laughs> Negative damage. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Ouch. My internals are taking a beating. Oh, my core is exposed. Let's see if I can find a better position to engage. Commander. Waiting for orders. I gotta show this boy my uh, my left side.
receiving you. Okay. Standing by. Acknowledged. Uh, I don't have a uh... This is not a good shot. I need to aim for the side that's got the weapons. Copy that. Ouch. Orders. Getting pushed hard here. Okay. It's the right side, so I want to aim sort of up high like this. Come on! He's got 5 HP where the weapons are. Oh no! I'm going over! Damn it! I'm wounded! Receiving you. <laughs> Ready for action. Why did I make this game? <laughs> okay. Can't do a precision strike after jumping. That's why I haven't been able to do it, in case you're wondering. Come on, get that weapon. Alright. Well, just goes to show how nasty some new quirks can be. <laughs> Thank goodness we left the infamous weak armor on the rear of the hunchback in. Even if it's got 40 more structure points where it matters. Handled. <laughs> hey, I got a hunchback piece. Sweet. I guess salvage would have been good here, but uh, <laughs> that's like <laughs> if it's a hunchback, I'll be in trouble. Enemy flashes up. It's a hunchback. I'm like, oh my god. Well, I managed to win. <laughs> it was uh, it was close. Thank goodness it didn't have jump jets. That could have ended very poorly for me.
Okay, did I lose any gear? I lost a pair of medium lasers, didn't I? And some heat sinks and some jump jets. If I had a few more large lasers lying around, I would be uh, tempted to build this as a large laser boat. Two laser points here is actually pretty solid. Jump jets in the legs, huh? Well, I suppose if the jump jets had been in the side, I would have been crippled even earlier. I lost two heat sinks. I didn't lose anything too serious here. So I'm, uh. Probably say in total about 50 60 grams worth of damage and there I was thinking yeah that will be easy money one on one that was uh that wasn't easy at all. <laughs> I got my ass handed to me. Nearly. The B team. This might actually be a map where we could get some good money since three of the mechs will not be ours and stock mechs are so much better these days the real question would be which mech do I take maybe wait till the fire bee is complete and then take the fire bee right because that's my only actually pretty solid meta mech I say meta mech like that matters as much as it uh, as it did in the base game. Well, that's it for now. That might be it for a little while. Um, I uh, still need to work on. Well, first we got to disable all of our logging and then um, look at the performance of battles as well because it's still not as smooth as I would like it to be. So we might have to make some hard choices on some mods. Um, yeah, and there's just uh, there's just loads of bug hunting and such to do. So that is it for now. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.